Welcome to the Erasmus Foundation podcast. My name is Paul Nugent. Are you looking for answers to life and its meaning? Then this may well be the very podcast you need to listen to. In a series of podcasts, we are going to look at the difficult questions of life and apply spiritual knowledge to find out the answers. Hello. Today we are going to talk about one single word, a very important word, which you will learn more about as this podcast proceeds. And that word is acceptance. And today we have Erasmus from Spirit, who will give all of us more content about the meaning of the word and how important it is in our world today. So greetings, Erasmus. Yes, greetings. My very first question to you is, as usual, a simple one. What is acceptance? Well, acceptance is coming to an understanding that really all that is within the universe is simply under the control and the order of the great mind. And it is simply as that. So Erasmus, why is it then so important for us to have some acceptance here on earth? Well, it is important because man living his life upon the earth is faced with many difficulties, times of pain without any doubt at all. And he is to feel very uncomfortable within his life at different times, as well, of course, enjoying the life as it is meant to be. But because man is here living a life on the earth, he is to face all these things, all these difficulties, times of pain pain and frustration, and much more. And if man can come to a simple acceptance that all these things are there to test him, to challenge him, as designed by the great mind for man to experience and to work through, then with a sense of acceptance, it is much easier, it is more comfortable to endure all of the difficulties one must face. Okay, Erasmus, thank you. Now, where would you find this acceptance? How can you achieve this state of mind? Well, again, if one looks within oneself into the very spiritual core of your being, and you can do this through an act of meditation. It can be done even perhaps sitting quietly and contemplating this by looking quietly within yourself and finding then a peace of mind which really is the fruit of acceptance. 
allowing yourself the freedom and the release of the physical body to a degree by identifying more with your spiritual self, which is held quietly, deeply within you. And that is where you will find acceptance. It takes away fear and pain if one can rise above these things and locate your very being deep within yourself, your id, your inner consciousness. It is all there. You talk about degrees of um, acceptance, Erasmus. What would the world be like if we didn't have some sort of acceptance in our lives? Well, I think it could be quite chaotic. It would make life even harder, more challenging to live. And I think, generally speaking, most people, as most people on the earth at this time, are spiritually quite aged, quite mature. And I think with that, within people's intuition, there is a certain acceptance within you and everybody. Intuitively, there is that understanding to a degree. But complete acceptance only comes with great age, spiritually. And that is, perhaps we, I could define that as allowing yourself with the knowledge that if the great mind, for his reason, was to destroy you spiritually, then one would have total acceptance and not have any fear that that should be. That is total acceptance. Of course, I cannot imagine why the great mind would do such a thing at all to any spirit, any of his children. But I was demonstrating this example to make the point of what true acceptance really is. Indeed, that's an amazing thing for a spirit to accept to that level, isn't it? I quite, mm. That's quite extraordinary for a human being to under, even begin to understand that. It's just amazing. So with the awakening of spirituality in our world that began in 1980, Erasmus, mm -hmm. I'm assuming that we will get an increase in people accepting and finding acceptance in the natural law and the great mind. So where will that take us in the future? I think that will take us into a world of, I would suggest, quiet dignity. A world where people would have more acceptance for the pain they might suffer, the difficulties they might be faced with, knowing 
then full well something quite serious within their life would be tapestried, would be meant that they experience these things. And with that understanding, then comes a degree of acceptance. And further to that, there is then the quiet dignity of acceptance. Thank you, Rasmus. In the past, we've been told, I mean, Bettina spoke about it in a recent podcast, about the fact that although this is the spiritual awakening coming up now, is it true to say that people had acceptance in the past? Yes, because simply they were connected with whom they could see whom my spiritual land where i come from they had to use the expression one foot in the earth in the physical life and one foot in the spiritual home as well so they they could commune with whom. So they knew so much more. The memory within the mind was more open than it is as now. Man, because the way his brain has developed and evolved, it is now overshadowing the mind quite severely. Not allowing the mind to surface as it might and that is to change and as man's minds do surface more and the brain is quietened and has less activity then man will connect and commune more with his spiritual heritage, knowing where he comes from and knowing more about spirit and my land. So man, once again, would have one foot in the spirit realm and one in the physical realm. Is that mm, what mm. you're saying? Yes, but indeed. I assume we're talking quite a distance in the future before that will happen, I would assume. Well, everything is a question of degree. Yes. Um, yeah. But it has to start somewhere, as it has already upon your earth. And things are progressing for man. All that is happening with the new world is all part of a process with a purpose and a meaning and all part of what the great mind has prepared within his overall tapestry for the universe. I think, Erasmus, the um, expectation of a spirit before he takes a life here on earth is one thing. Obviously, the spirit will appreciate that he's taken a life to learn and progress and, and evolve. But once here on earth, what do you think man thinks the reason for his existence is at the moment? Well, do many ever think this? Does man spend time quietly sitting, contemplating these questions and thinking about why is he here? What is the purpose of life? Now, perhaps some do, but I would suggest to you, many are too busy performing their work their physical needs, 
their endeavors to survive within the life in ways of physical means. That man doesn't very often give much time or consideration to these questions. Perhaps that will change. Yes, because it did a little bit when the, the COVID started um, within the world in 2021, or was 20, mm. Mm. whenever it started, I can't remember. It seems so long ago, and it's just a couple of years ago, that's all. But even the initial time, people were enjoying their gardens and communicating with with the land much more than they did before. And I think people loved it when that was happening. But, of course, it's all changed back to where it was once before at the moment. Well, yes, there was an awareness of nature more initially. That is true. And that was a good thing. People appreciated the quietude of nature because there was not so much activity going on with your vehicles racing around and people being very busy. Things were quieter. And I think this was appreciated. And it gave also perhaps a little sample of the future and how your earth might be. But at the same time, let us not ignore the fact that within the earth, because of the way man, mankind is, there was a lot of anger and resentment that this disease was happening, and frustration that in the expectations of people's thinking that this should not have happened because somewhere, someone in authority would ensure that such diseases could not happen. Or further, if they were to happen, why was there not a cure immediately presented by those who were responsible for medical cures upon the earth? I find that an example of man's arrogance and lack totally of acceptance. Yes. Okay, Rasmus, we're coming to the end of our podcast yet again. It goes mm -hmm. very quickly. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we close? No, I think, of course, life upon the earth is there to teach man, to teach spirit, so that on returning home to spirit, they have some better understanding of many, many things. But I think at this time, one of the lessons that is being learnt through the difficulties which are facing mankind at present is the concept of acceptance. And that is something perhaps people might wish to think on. Indeed. Erasmus, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to speak with you. Thank you. The Erasmus Foundation 
is a spiritual teaching and healing foundation based in Laxfield, Suffolk, in the United Kingdom. We have a webpage, www.erasmus-foundation.org. If you would like to be a guest on our podcast, or indeed have further questions for us, then please contact me on paul at erasmus-foundation.org and we'll do our best to accommodate you. Thank you very much for listening.